How's it going, ladies and Bruce? I'm Bobby Six Killer, and welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. Now, I've done the sleepy bit. I've passed six hours. Now, our drunken friend Silas should be sobered up enough for us to talk to him and find out what the fuck he was talking about before when he was drunk and telling us that we should go die. So let's sort that out. Tilo? You're awake. Tilo. How are you feeling? Awful. I've not been that soused since. Wow. You made the tonic? The cook. It was much appreciated. I've been looking out for your scabs. I think they've taken a liking to you. Tilo, in the commissary, I said some things I shouldn't have. What was it you were looking for in that bottle? <laughs> it's a delicate way of phrasing it. The murder of crows. The song, I'm sure you must know it. Please sing it for me. Alright. Don't hold back. And we're going to skip it like usual. Ah, your version's tamer than the one I know. The pups in my village used to sing it. I remember I thought it was funny. I liked the way the words roamed. I didn't realise they were singing it to me. Not until my Uma chased me off with his stick. Uma, then... I. You were raised by mice. I, I was. Your birth parents, what are them? Oh, I often wondered about them. Who were they? What became of them? Uma might have had some grey... in her coat. Her memory wasn't what it once was, but she told me what she could. All the same. It wasn't enough. And then on the day I left for Yuva, Silas Evans' paw to reveal the finely engraved silver band he'd shown you at the brazier's side. Uma gave me the silver ring. For your true mother, she said. The ring was your mother's? She left it with my Uma to help pay for my keep, but Uma wouldn't part with it. I was so angry with her, for keeping it from me. I should have known it was for my own good. I don't understand. How did the first ring lead you here? It didn't. A few months before my discharge from the Rat Guard, I found a second silver ring. And you found others. The ring Gusto and Fatal stole. I have eight now, all told. Eight rings and the silver scroll case. The scroll case. The puzzle. What was it you found in there? A message. From my father. The Rat hands you a scroll of parchment. Brittle with age. Here, read it. Okay. Prayer scroll. Master of the Salamander, I offer you this ring. Relic of noble kings of old. May you accept it and tribute to your grace as a promise to return what I have took this day. Warden of the flame, guardian of lost hope, grant me the courage to persevere and strength enough to prevail. For my kingdom, my kind. For Brindis, my one true love, and Silas, my firstborn son. Well, Tilo, what say you? This message, it's from your father? Aye. It's a prayer. Aye, to the hero, Dween Lan. I understand, you mean... Aye. His mother was Dween Lan. My father was Roderick, the last Rat King. You're Roderick's son? But that makes you a prince. No, no, it makes me the son of a coward. What was it your father took from the tombs? Whatever it was, he swore to return it. I guess he didn't keep his word. Will you keep searching for your father's treasure now? Why? I found what I was looking for. I understand now why your mother hid you away. Shame? You don't really believe that, do you? The barons had had me killed, I know. What now? Would you reclaim your throne? My throne? Ha! The mongrel son of the coward king. I'm sure the barons would gladly give up their power to so noble an heir. Besides, the singing stone is lost. I think I understand well enough. Alright. This is why you were soused? Wouldn't you be? Silas' tail sparked something inside you. You hum to yourself the first few notes of a new lay, the ballad of the orphan prince. Well now, that's enough about me, don't you think? How goes it with you? Silas Mira wasn't aboard the ship. She'd given up her place to another. Aye. You might have said something about it in the commissary. You know the name of the doe who took Mira's place? Pharaoh. Mira gave her place to a doe named Pharaoh. And did you get her family name? No, but she had a son named Tam. Tamlin. Does that help? No, it's not enough. I can't send out a scat without a full name. Else Yuva's gonna start asking questions. What about the ship the doe was meant to be on? Do you know its name? She was aboard the Rat Scallion. Out of Port Scarn. The Rat Scallion? Tilo, will you fetch my logbook? It's on the table downstairs. Alright. 
Wait, do I already have it? I didn't see that. Here's your logbook. I must have stolen it earlier. Alright, let's see. The signal rat opens the log and runs a claw down the page. Here, part of the general news dispatch, received on the 13th. Go on. Tilo. The rat skeleton was reported lost in the cloak of Periclo. I... I don't believe it. I can't. Did I read you the entire message? Would you? I need to hear it. Listen. On the twelfth day, the Wrath Scallion crewed by nine, laden with sundries and carrying twenty-seven prisoners, was reported late by the harbour master of Orandus. The vessel was last seen by the bosun of the Emerald Hind. Of course, off course and heading into the cloak of Periclope, and so is pronounced lost. Tilo, I know you don't want to hear it, but Mira is gone. I'm sorry, but she's still alive. I'm sure of it. Even if she were alive, there's no way for us to trace Mira now. You may as well ask a magpie. I think I know where I can find one. A magpie, you're going to get yourself killed. Besides, magpies will only speak with noble creatures and kings. To them, anything less is, me is m a meal. Then I should become a king. Here, then. Salas hands you a scarlet tunic. Finished with gold piping and fine beadwork. A gift from my father. It's incredible. Where did you find this? In the bundle you brought back from the tomb. I hope you make a worthier king than he ever was. Uh, now we're going to make the king outfit? Well, that's going to be a pain. We're going to have to go talk to... The blacksmith. How many pieces do we have? King's pantaloon. King's tunic. Hang on, what else do we need? Similar costume fit for the king. For a king. Uh, I need a pair of stockings and shoes and a king's crown. I need two pieces. That's not too bad. Alright, let's head out and see if we can find that shit. We need to go talk to the blacksmith, obviously. Unfortunately, I think I've already got active for the, uh, the thieves outfit as well. That might get confusing, possibly. But I never found the thieves outfit in that. Didn't help very much that time. Did for the armor though. Maybe I was more determined with the armor because I needed it to move on. Well, let's see what the blacksmith has. Oh, it's fucking night time again. We'll have to wait till daytime. Talk to the blacksmith. We only need two pieces. It shouldn't be too hard to find because we need it to actually move on. Hopefully. Let's sleep till morning. Till about 8, like usual. 10 hours sleep. Wish I could have 10 hours fucking sleep. Maybe I need to go to prison for a while. Alright. Need some items of clothing. Oh? Tell me what it is you need. I need to put together a costume for a king. Oh, I can help you with that. You got six florins? There's many a noble rat buried down in the catacombs, and the commander has fine clothes for ceremonial occasions and the like. Could you make me a crown? I'll need gold. Seven nuggets at least. Seven nuggets of gold. Alright, seven nuggets of gold. You'll have it. Alright then, was there anything more you wanted? Aye. Well, I have that already. Can you suggest some places to look? If we can get some thought and eye, I might have some ideas. Reckon for four florins I could help you. Alright then, let me think. There, I've marked some places to start looking on your maps. Thank you, Smithy. I have the gold for the crown here. Let's see. Hmm. The quality's not great, but it'll do. Alright, your majesty, give me six hours and you'll have your crown. Alright, I'll be back then. Six hours and not before. Anything else I can help you with? No, thank you. But you said you'd mark some places on the map. It's still got a mouse and rat's clothing on the on the map. That's not super helpful. I'm telling you that right now. It's 
so do we need to clear out this thieves one first? Alright, so... Or is there some way I can change which one's active? It's like this thief stuff over here somewhere. Must be in this room. At the very end on the right. Oh, it must have been up here. Must have got that already. Actually, wasn't there armor here at some point? I feel like there was armor here. Who did that? Crazy bastard setting fire inside a building like that. Hang on, what do you got? I got a handkerchief. Text. You're short for a gut, aren't you? I'm a foot cat. Just checking. Just checking. Doing what I gotta do, you know. Gotta check. God damn, where is this shit that I'm looking for? Can you put that away before we get in trouble? Thanks. Alright, well he said... Well, that's probably because we're in the wrong area. He said... The commander and... Down in the catacombs. Let's try the catacombs, I suppose. Maybe we'll just switch to that mission when we're in the right area. That makes sense. Makes more sense than me running around blindly. That's for damn sure. We haven't been back in the catacombs for a while. And we still got two more uh, missing dudes to find in the catacombs, so... If we're lucky, we can pull that off too. Okay, well that actually doesn't show us anything. Anything at all. Not helpful. Except there's two people to talk to down here. Oh, one of them's Dween Lane. Dween Land, and one of them's the Magpie. Obviously. Well, it doesn't give me any ideas, so maybe we'll... Maybe we will explore the, explore the catacombs after all. That is where he said to look, realistically. I can't think of anywhere better to go. Maybe I'll just hold down my red mist and hopefully we'll come across something. Let's see what we can find with the red mist. Hang on, there's something up there. Can I get up there? I can't get up there. Well, that's not fucking helpful. Oh wait, can I get something to stand on, maybe? This could be a long process, trying to figure this one out. I apologize. For the potentially long process. Of trying to find a pair of stockings in a haystack. There's definitely something there. Stockings! Hey, we found it! Holy fuck, are you serious? That first thing we saw was the right thing? And now we have to do is wait some time for the crown to be ready. And we can be a king. And then we'll have to come back here again. To talk to the magpie. Well that's cool. Let's go rest up again. We're doing a lot of sleeping recently. Like a fucking lot of sleeping. To get time to progress. I think we've made more progress in the last couple of episodes than like ever before. Get to know our way around a wee bit. Get to know who's who and what's what and where, how, who, why, when. And all that. You know, the important stuff. <laughs> That's the important stuff, right? All 
Alright, let's go sleep up. Kill six hours. Talk to you, get my crown. Might be night time. We still need to go back and talk to... I can't remember the name. The girl thief. In the jail cell. I don't remember her name. Because I'm not very nice like that. Apparently. Alright, let's go get our crown. Can we walk around as a king without people, like, attacking us? Because they'll be like, oh my god, it's the king! Because that'd be cool. I want to be a king. Ha! Huh, join the red poor, I see. Was there something you needed, private? How's the crown going, Smithy? Yeah. Smithy takes off his hat to reveal a finely crafted golden crown just about your size. See what you think to that. This crown, it's beautiful. It's alright, isn't it? You'll have to show me the old costume when you're done. You're a true artisan, Smithy. Ah, go on with you. Alright then, was there anything more you wanted? Thank you, no. Alright, let's let's be a king. Kinda wanna um wear the beard with it. I feel like the beard would go nicely with the king outfit. Uh is that it? That's it, eh? Is there something you wanted? I thought you were interested in seeing me as a king. There we go. So I do need the beard. Oh, don't you look fine. If the mice are ever in need of a king, they can do worse than ask you. Aw, shucks. Alright, it's not night time, so we're gonna... Oh. Okay, they're hostile immediately. Dude. Something about being a... Having the king costume on gives us stamina fucking for days compared to the other outfits. Bye. Stamina for days. It lasted ages. That's cool. Or is it just my imagination? No, it feels like it's lasting a lot longer. Even though it still burns real fast. Stamina never lasts long though. I think what's worse is it takes so fucking long to recharge unless you stop moving. Like, as long as I'm walking, it takes forever to recharge. If I stop, then it recharges super fast. But it burns real fast when you're running. And it's the only real fast way to get around, considering you're a fucking mouse. And mice move around like fucking lightning. Like grease lightning. Assholes. Alright, let's go see this magpie, shall we? Is he in the center cage still, or is he in the... Over by the gate we couldn't open? Guess we'll find out when we get there. Hey, dead spider. Hey, alive spider. I probably got enough bottles to kill you now. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Douchebag. Make horrible noises, though. I'll give you that. Terrifying. Since when is that openable? I wasn't able to open that before. Like, at all. Hello, magpie. Who is this that approaches in the dark? Magpie, I must speak with you. By what authority do you claim such a privilege? By the right of a king. A king? Your majesty, this is an honor. I am Ravik, descendant of M M Migla, and daughter of Elgim. I am King Sulk. King Sulk the Elusive, whose name is known by all, but whose face is difficult to place. King Sulk the enig Enigmatic, about whom only va vagaries are known. King Soak the Indefinable, whose magnificence is impossible to put into words. The very same, and I am need, in need of your counsel. And I am honor bound to give it, your highness. But first, won't you kindly remove the shade from this dying light and illuminate the hall? Illuminate the hall? For what reason? For what reason? So I might better see your majesty. The dying light? Forgive me, wise magpie, I don't understand. The cauldron here above me, your majesty. Give me the answers I seek and I'll help you in return. Forgive me, your majesty, but it's so dark. 
and I can scarcely see my codex feathers. Who am I to refuse a magpie's request? Sai, you are gracious indeed. You didn't really give me an option. That cauldron. Do I have to throw something at it? Oh. Oh, such splendor. I trust the light is to your satisfaction, wise magpie. Oh, most illuminating, your highness. How fortunate I am to gaze upon your majesty. Tell me, are those diamonds or sapphires in your crown? Uh, neither? I only gave him gold. A bit of both? And those buttons on your tunic, are they silver or white gold? Uh, white gold, of course. I can scarcely imagine such wonders. Strange, though, I'd heard your majesty lost his tail at the Battle of Lie Sands. It was recovered at the battle and stitched back on. Ah, then you must know Maelpus, the physician. How is he? Oh, about the same. Ah, still dead then. Now, Mouse, tell me your true name. I'd like to know who it is I'm eating. But you gave me your word. I pretended to give my word to a pretend king. You have no honour, Magpie. And you, Mouse, are no king. Your ruse no longer amuses me. Tell me who you are. My name is Tilo, Miss. Tilo, apprentice to Lay Lulin. Aye, the same. Why didn't you say so? A minstrel is far greater than any king. Sing something. A song I've not heard before. Something of historical value. And perhaps I'll let you live. The Orphan Prince. The new one. We just wrote it. The Orphan Prince. What else do you know of him? He was raised by mice. Mice? Curious. Tell me more. He has a set of silver rings left by his father. The tail rings of the Rat Kings of old. Go on. He has a noble soul. You give an opinion as if it were truth. Are you sure you're not part ca crow? Try again. He is sorely ashamed of his father. Then he does not know the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I mean what I say. Very well, minstrel. You may go. Wait, Magpie, please. I came here for your help. I've given you your life. And still you ask for more? Great Magpie, please. I came here to ask you a question. By my reckoning, my debt to you is paid. Did I not show you the respect you were due? Disguised as a king, you tried to deceive me. Did I not pray for my lie with the truth? Pay for my lie with the truth? You merely sang me a song and I let you live. But perhaps there is a bargain to be made between us. I came to this place only once before as a fledgling. But the tunnel seemed to have grown narrower in the years since. I wish to explore the lower hall, but this hole here has shrunken more than the rest. Perhaps you can go in my stead. What is it you hope to find in the lower hall? I recall seeing a tapestry adorned with magpies in a great battle. I want you to bring it to me. I wish to see it again with my own eyes. Are you sure? I've already explored this place and saw nothing in magpies. Then you must go deeper. Ride the dying light down to the lower hall. Bring back with you the tapestry of the magpie. Ride the dying light, but I'll be burned. You know as well as I, Mouse, the dying light burns cool. Well, that's convenient. Oh, I have a dying light as well, don't I? This one. I guess it must burn cool. Uh, is there something I need to throw something at? Uh, there's a lever over there. Can't see. Oh! You hairy testicle. Well, I saw the lever there. I just assumed I'd throw something at it. And boom! Lever comes down. Down comes the bridge. Just like before. But I guess not. Oh yeah, there it is. Wouldn't work last time. Hairy nuts, nutsack asshole. Alright, let's go. Ladder. Well, it looks like there's quite the depths to uh, explore here, so... Yeah, we might have to save this one for the next episode, I think. But there's going to be a lot to be done here. Fucking spiders again, I hear you. You sacks of asshole.
Yeah, they're not super hostile. They kind of stick to their own spot, as long as you don't go near them. I guess I can live with that. I don't want to open all these doors, though. Okay, that was different. The banner is hooked onto the cauldron of dying light. Ah. And we need one with magpies on it. Pine cones. Oh, you guys are fucked now. You guys are fucked. I can't even tell which one has magpies on it. No, that one. Right there. Oh, there's loads of pine cones too. Holy shit. We're armed to the teeth, son. Who wants to die first? You? How about you? Nice. Clearing out the spiders nice and easy here. Enjoy being on fire, asshole! They're especially ugly spiders too, I must admit. Oh, I missed. That's a shame. That was our last one. Now I can't deal with them. Ow. That was bad. My bad. Alright, what's out here then? I've obviously got the right banner. Is there something to be found out here? Some reason I can go out here, perhaps? Someone's ass to kick. I do love kicking asses. Not that we can do much ass kicking in this game. Mainly do getting our ass kicked as opposed to kicking asses. There's nothing out here either. You're an angry wee spider, aren't you? I think you need some counseling, my friend. Counseling. The only way you're going to get past your serious uh, emotional deficiencies there. You follow me around. You can be my new pet. Nyong. We're too fast for you, asshole. We're a fucking mouse. But like lightning at them. I missed a spider though. I left a spider alive. I'm pretty disappointed in myself for that. That wasn't cool. Could definitely have done better than that. My bad. Never mind. If I ever come back, I'll kill his ass. What's this? You see a magpie on this tapestry? Is that a no? I thought it was a magpie. This isn't the banner I remember. Try again. Fine. I was trying, but I need to find the ladder again, you ass. You fucking ass clown. What do I look like? You're... Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. I don't like climbing up onto this wally piece. It's too easy to just slip off like a knob. Alright, I know we're out of time for the episode, but I am going to finish this quest if it fucking kills me. And it may. But consider this quest done one way or another. I wish I had a bottle. A bottle would be enough to finish that fucker off. I reckon. Can you climb any faster? Shit. Suck a dick. That's all I have to say to you. Is that a magpie? That's a magpie, right? The 
I'm make by dying though. But I'm pretty sure it's a magpie. Fucking hope so, because I don't have to come back down again. Magpie in battle, it said. I'm going now. Suck a dick. I mean, see you later. And also suck a dick. Yep, up we go. Forever climbing. Well, let's roll. Alright, Magpie, you better be happy with this one or else I'll slap you upside the head. Please don't eat me. Aye, this is the one I was searching for. But this Magpie, what is she doing? She seems to be weeping. Impossible, a Magpie weeps for no rodent. And yet there it is. The magpie snatches up the banner in her claws. Tell no one of this, Mouse. I've done everything you've asked of me. You have indeed. Now, Mousy, you may ask one question of me, and only one. Mira, where is she? Who? Mira, my wife. You don't want to ask me anything else? Perhaps about the uprising in the north? Please answer my question. Perhaps I could tell you of how the stars were sewn into heaven's tapestry, or reveal the mysteries of what lies beyond. I only want to know what I asked you. I can give you the secret to making gold from lead, or tell you the final words of King Rodgar. You won't answer my question? It's such a simple one, barely worth my time. Very well then, I must consult with Mygla. Ravik closes her eyes and stretches out her wings to the fullest extent. There is a moment. Almost an eternity of absolute silence, and then the magpie speaks, her voice so clear that it seems to you as if the only it's the only sound that has ever existed. You must journey to the Isle of Periclave. What you seek is waiting for you there. Periclave. Mira's ship was lost in the cloak of Periclave. Indeed. So there truly isn't Lost Island of Periclave? Lost, it's exactly where it's always been, and it is real, I promise you. I was born there atop the ruins of the Great Tower. Then I must go to Periclave. You'll need a ship and some luck to carry you there, and a chart to navigate the currents. I'll need luck just to find the charts. At the bottom of the cliff on a desolate shore, you'll find a rowboat about your size. What about the charts? I cannot help you find your way. I know only of the currents of the sky above. The lake is the domain of pirates and frogs. And perhaps pirate frogs? I've seen more than a few. Will we meet again? You owe me a fine tale of adventure. One day I shall come to collect it. I'll tell you one more secret. You're a brave mouse, Tilo the Minstrel. I'm almost glad I didn't eat you. Farewell. With the beat of her wings, the magpie is gone. Almost glad you didn't eat me? You wank. Alright, so we gotta go see Pirate Frog, dude. And then we need to head down to the shore, which is the first time we've ever actually gone down to the shore for any fucking reason. Apart from because it's there, and I wanted to explore it. So that's pretty cool. Alright, well I'm going to leave this episode here. I'll probably head back up into towny bit, find a place to save and everything. And, uh, we'll get back into the next one from town. But yeah, we'll head to the, head to the pirate frog after this. Till then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.